you welcome back to my channel, this is Vicky Games. I'm Sydney and today we are back with Alan Wake 2. We had the most epic episode of all time yesterday. I can't even believe it. Like the old guards of Asgard, I've been listening to that song. It's called Herald of Darkness. I've been listening on to that song on repeat for like the entire, like literally after I finished that episode, I was like, where's the song? That's it. I'm doing it like this every day. Like my whole, my, my drive to work <laughs> when I was like at lunch, I was like the whole thing. I was like, I'm listening to this song. It's amazing. I can't even believe, I don't even know how to recover after last episode. It is amazing. I'm considerably more awake than the last couple of episodes as well, if you can't tell. We have the choice now to play Alan or Saga. Um, I believe last time I said we were going to play Saga just to give it a little bit more variety. Although I guess I just want to go back into Mr. Dora's thing and be like, hey, we need an encore. You know what I mean? We need more old gods of Asgard because that was just amazing. I think we will stick with the plan and switch realities into Saga. So let's do it. We're going. Through the wormhole. So it's where we last left her. Also, my gun looks fancy as fuck. Um, all right, here we are. Look at the box. Is he, so is he still here? He is still here. And I can talk to him with Alex Casey. Alex Casey, I gotta say, you were a good dancer. Sam Lake, Alex Casey, we love. Um, wow. Also, I, a lot of you joined me last night, uh, subscriber-wise, and I wanna say thank you and welcome. Um, I'm very excited to continue playing Alan Wake and to get to know more of you guys. You um, wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Yeah. Thank you for your cooperation. It could be really interesting to know if there's like someone else writing now, but I doubt it. I think it's just Alan. We already touched this guy, I believe. I don't know why we have to touch all the deer heads. But I was gonna say I'm gonna release um I was gonna chat a little bit more in the community I'm post. The only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, 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 that's not how this works. We're FBI. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride alongs. Exactly. The scratch is after you. And so is the cult. So you're safe. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. <laughs> I love that. He's so, he's so salty, Sam Lake. Uh, um, not Sam, uh, Alex Casey. In this and in the novel, Alex Casey, he's so salty. <laughs> I love it though. He's like the perfect detective. So we have to make our way to watery so we got to go drive so i believe we got to exit this way not that way this way literal actual Ooh, wow we get to see it because we didn't get to go in here last time hi welcome hello are you dancing to old gods of asgard because i am too mentally hello can i talk to you can i order a drink okay. past favorite deer fest clothes go the yarn puppet monstrosity the one uh, that almost killed me on the bridge. No, the you. deer in 2010. Dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. <laughs> wow, this is cool. It's cool to see like lively town again. Who's drinking water? Lively town again. Hello and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee themed amusement park. Is it this? All of our attractions are family friendly and available to children of all ages. This guy. Just like our coffee. We watch. We so, watch. Take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express. Espresso Express. Oh. Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. It's not a haunted. Is it in the percolator? 
Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park. Amusement park. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the Slow Roaster Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the Water Lighthouse trailer park. <laughs> this is so much fun. He's so into it, his brother's and like, fuck finish it. off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. Oh, the fun is percolating. <laughs> this oh. is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. Excuse me. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all oh. night. You yes, should go to sir, Coffee I'm World. Terribly sorry for that. Okay, well that was amazing. Every time I we get to see those guys in the tree. Can we go anywhere else in here? It doesn't budge. Absolutely not is the answer. I don't see any other deers either. For giggles, can we go down? Oh. <laughs> with the flashlight, can you imagine how unsettling that would be if somebody random with a Hey, Pat! Somebody, oh, is this my room? family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. Okay. our favorite sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. I guess it's our room? be enjoyed in smoked hickory, teriyaki. And hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla. Are you drunk, Pat? And thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got <laughs> chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Okay, oh, that's here. we're we're good. You know when I'm feeling stiff. <laughs> are we just going in other? Okay, I was gonna say if we're going in like random people's rooms. I feel like that's not good. Even if we are FBI, we have no reason. I just, I was gonna say, isn't it unsettling if like a random guest or who you perceive to be a guest starts walking down the hallway with a flashlight? You're like, uh, um, just checking out what's here since we never got to before. Oh my God, we can go in other people's rooms. This better be, what is this? Uh, says, re Colden Lake, look into the news and rumors, focus on 2010, cross-reference with old Case files from the New York City cult. Similarities, commonalities in methodology. Part of the series. Find out a good. Find out the name of a good coffee from the diner. All right. I'm guessing this is um, Alex Casey's room, perhaps. By the mess, and the coffee cups. Look at the coffee cups. Oh my God. There's a coffee pot. There's. There's a ridiculous- the cups are everywhere, bro! Do you not use a trash can? Holy shit! My man! I'm assuming this is his room. Holy crap! And the subtitles are going crazy from the beef jerky ad in the next room. There's a coffee cup in here! Bro. <laughs> Do you brush your teeth with coffee? Well, that's unsettling. Hello, can I help you? Are you okay? I'm guessing I can't go in your room here. Hello? Someone get murdered? Ooh, what's this? Uh, Tammy didn't want me to come, I can tell. Not like the trip is even helping. I thought getting out of the city would inspire me, but Bright Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. I need to find something. I'm tired of writing one act plays about how shitty the world is. I thought scathing social commentary would make me f fell like a real, I think it's supposed to be feel, feel like a real artist, but I don't know. It's not me. I want to write something weird, something really out there, something authentic, but what? Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It's weird though. Sitting here in the hotel room, some pieces are starting to fall together. An idea for a new play, a space cult burning down the galaxy in some misguided search for TBD to be decided. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars until his destiny puts him straight in the paths, uh, in the cult's path. Uh, all black cast, a uh, musical, a rock opera, rock opera. I'm telling you right now. I think this is the writer lady's room. Um, her and her brother, the bookers. Um, 
I think this might be their room. Because she was like the true crime writer. We got another page! Yay! Yay for exploring! Ed returns to Cauldron Lake. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. Ooh. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Maybe someone else. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Nice, really, okay. he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice. A direction. An idea. Something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Oh man, those poor people. They <laughs> were trying to like mind their own business, doing like research and, and stuff in the woods and then fucking murder. <laughs> oh. oh, so brutal. But that's Alan Wake for you. What's this, another page? <gasps> These people behind pages. I love you too. Thank you for collecting. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes. Do what they did. See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things. Things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Okay, so they got in a big fight after uh, finding the cult, and then they got interrogated and then presumably let go to go do what they were going to do. I wonder if they're still in town. Um, I think from Ed's perspective, this last page, it seems like he drove the rental car back to Cauldron Lake after the argument that they have he was going to leave. Um, and maybe this suddenly blinded by a light um, is actually going to happen and, and it wasn't the moment of the the cult murder that they saw i liked them they were really cool we didn't get to interact with them too much but they were um really interesting characters tammy was definitely taking it a whole lot better than ed was but you could tell she was really like bottling it in um i wonder if they have like more to play especially oh especially because she's a writer like maybe maybe she'll carry on like writing more pages and stuff so this must be their room. I think that's obvious at this point, but um, maybe she's going to help write in like her inspiration after she recovers from the trauma of murder. Uh, she could help Alan, maybe. That'd be cool. Hello. It won't open. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. We can go in everybody's. Please do not disturb. You wax on, wax off, sir. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go on. To Waterworld. I want to go on that slow roaster ride. Uh, uh huh. I wonder if we're gonna hear from Logan as well, because she tends to talk to Logan, her daughter, in the car. So, ah, uh, look, it's so bright and happy after all of the darkness and murder. All right, let's go. Oh, so that's cool. Cauldron Lake Watery. Let's go to Watery. Hell yeah. We driving. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but 
Are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. And the clicker. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true. Or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Aww. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. <laughs> maybe I can shake something loose. No, don't me be. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. She calling him salty? Oh boy. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. Oh, I should ask around. Local girl, here we go. So this chapter is super long, so I'm going to get as far as I can get in this episode. Um, I'm hoping to break it only into two chapters, uh, or two episodes rather, uh, and then go, but I'm kind of crunched for time a bit. Um, so we'll see what we do. But this is cool. I'm so, like, thrilled that we can visit other towns and see... Hey, where is the time gone? <laughs> I you're, 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 talk, you're asking me. I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that we can do a little bit more. But I, uh, what I was going to say, my brain got scrambled. What I was going to say is uh, uh, I'm so excited hey, that we get to explore more towns. What did you used to say your green towns? job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that. But idle hands are the devil's playground. So, you flash that away. Well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. I love that we get to see like more of the town surrounding Bright Falls. I wonder the what happened. The flooding happens. is even worse here. It is. More like underwatery. Underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. <laughs> Everybody's quippy. Hello. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For what? Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Yeah, you do it. I have no idea what the politics of this town are, but you go, man. Got a flag. Got a lot of people. We got a little radio somewhere I can hear. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Oh. Saunas, lakes. Sauna? Seems nice. Oh, is this a sauna? Like a natural spring sauna? Am I tripping? Hello. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Artie to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. Artie! I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Yeah, sure. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. <laughs> They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. Oh. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. He didn't like that answer. <laughs> I, you can do whatever you put your mind to, buddy, but you should stay safe. Oh, it's interesting they know about it here. I was expecting him to get all like dark and be like, no, we don't talk about that. Is this is like a natural hey, sauna spring. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. <laughs> they also say silence is golden. Oh, everyone's salty. Salty. Okay. You guys enjoy this sauna then. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? It's great. I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on the radio. <laughs> oh, well, there's that. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. Okay, and let's just check out this lady over here. Oh, this dude, so sorry. Sorry I called you a lady. Minding your own business with your tow truck. So, Ati, the, the janitor, he's from here. I love that man. Got 
Got some bikers. Hey, Saga! Coffee World! Over here! <gasps> this is the brother! Is there in person? Hello! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. That's right. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. I was gonna this say. keeps happening. I was gonna say, I think this is it, guys. I think, I think this is true. I think she's actually from this town. From maybe Watery, if, if it seems like more like, the, like here. It's, I don't know. But like, I think that's true. I think what Rose said is true. I think her daughter and like, it's maybe like a, like, have you guys seen session nine? Like, I think it's like maybe one of those things. And she's like talking to her daughter, but it's not really her daughter. Or maybe it's like the memory or the illusion of her daughter growing up uh, or like her ghost or something. I don't know. Like that just, I think it's true though. I think it's true. Are you familiar with the cold of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. <laughs> for real, with Bright Falls. And I'm sure um, here in Watery, I'm sure it's something similar. I need to find a specific trailer in town. Can you help me with that? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. Me? It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry, they've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Yes. Yes. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Or yours? Or yours, ma'am? Oh, this is trippy as fuck. So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? We have. I want to go. Coffee Take World me. is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. You better not run me over like in 2010. These guys are really busy. Uh, also, because like we met um, with Ilmo in the forest when we were going to go check the body. And we saw him with Steven, the AWE guy, or rather the, the was it FBC, um, Federal Bureau of Control. So it's interesting. So your commercials. They're, They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera, really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, yes. I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. I will, sir. Profiling is the key. Oh, yes, I know. We, we got a bunch of things to, like, check out. But before... Flooding, flooded, did this? Ooh, that's bug. I want to go to Coffee World. Marriage right there you guys take me on a tour man so they have a biking company they build the deer fest floats they do tours even to the like uh illegal or crossed out areas of the map um they run coffee world good Lord. and he's the owner of the trailer park good god man all right profiling it is the coskelas Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Well, he did or say until he? recently. There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother, Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. 
they understand it's dangerous. They did say that, though. I don't know if we needed a profile moment for that, because he literally said we thought it was a urban legend until recently, which would imply that, like, you know, the murder and everything kind of makes it a little bit more real. Okay, this is what I'm more interested in. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Yes. White's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Or affecting you, ma'am. You don't forget, you're also written into this story. Uh, I believe we had some uh, case board stuff as well. The owner... Does this belong here? Where? Oh, the trailer. Bam! A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. <laughs> well... I'm most certain that I used to live here, that I owned a trailer here, and that I'm a member of the community. I guess that's what he means by family as well. Close communities are very family. Very much family. You really think I lived here? This is unnerving, but at least I can exploit it to get inside this trailer. <laughs> well, that worked out. Let's see what he knows. All right. So now we can do Cult of the Tree. Oh, we got a lot. The story. That's a psych. Uh, Cult of the Tree. He remembers writing many pages while in the dark place. Oh, God. Oh, um, Nightingale. Writing is part of the ritual? Maybe this part? Yeah, baby. If Wake is the origin of the pages, then no cult connection? Unless the cult is working with Scratch. Well, it is say, like, in Alan's world, it's Cult of the Word, not Cult of the Tree. So I do think it's probably the case that, like, maybe they're following Scratch. Or maybe because they know of Alan's power, they are created their own cult around him, whether he's the leader or not. I don't think, obviously, I think we know he's not the leader, but um, they're probably just obsessed of the power of the writing. And they don't really realize that it maybe only also comes from Cauldron Lake. Fact V fiction. Oh, this is where we get to Wait, like- Wait, this a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Okay, but here's the chicken or the egg saga. You're written into this story. Are you fiction? And then is the thing you think is fiction also fiction? Is it like deeper fiction? Because technically it's all fiction. You know what I mean? Because- this is like the trippy thing. It's like Thomas Zane wrote Alan into life. Alan wrote Saga into life and Alex Casey. And now all of them are like also in the reality that has been written that is technically fiction. More fiction is changing that reality and they that they believe to be true. So like what exact what what counts as real here? The poor people around them that have no idea about anything that just changes everything. Um, I did say in American Nightmare, I was talking about how it reminds me a lot of Ursula Le Guin's um, Lathe of Heaven. There's a character in that whose dreams can change reality. But when everything changes, him and the person he does it with. So in this case, in the book case, it's his therapist. Um, they remember both realities that change. Um, the, that both realities were true. Everyone else around them doesn't remember anything. They just accept the new reality. So that's probably the case with here as well. Uh, according to Wake, the story is changing people's memories, but they think they that's why they think they know me. I'm not a character. I'm real. I need to track what's part of the story and what isn't. <laughs> oh, you're going to be in for something trippy saga. Owned the trailer park where I supposedly lived. Calls me his funniest resident. <sighs> So she puts this in my life in watery question mark. Finally, someone appreciates my jokes, but seriously, what kind of life did I live here? Rose recognized me in the diner in Bright Falls and says I moved away after Logan died. Ooh. No. No? That's a no? Maybe just its own? Okay, its own. 
Because I guess it's technically not watery because that was bright false. Logan is not dead, but what else did the story change about her life? Knowing it might help me fight this thing. Logan's parts of the story. Oh, and then my life. So we need to find out Saga's life and then her daughter's life. Oh, it sounds so daunting. Like, imagine knowing that someone you love is alive, but then hearing that they're dead and then having to find details about that. That must be unsettling, to say the least. Hello. I'd like to see my trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. <gasps> I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. I'll go, that's fine. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. I, I figured call as much the gift as you're so blocking they can give the road. Saga a hand. Yep. Kalevala Knights. That's a cool name, by the way. Hello? Nothing? What am I paying them for? <laughs> Guess they're busy. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. Delicious. These are all peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Or they're being murdered by the cult of the tree, but you know what? We'll call it slacking. Okay, bye. Let's hope they're okay. <laughs> Is that Coffee World with the rides? There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. Oh, if we can get on a ride, we're going. I want to ride and I want to listen to old gods of Asgard and I want to spin in the coffee percolator until I am dizzy. I have a feeling that it's gonna get dark and fucked up the closer we get to where we need to. And this doesn't help. Oh, oh we can pull out our gun now. I was gonna say this uh, box here of goodies doesn't help assuage those fears. Give me things, cause I need them. Oh yeah, and I got some good charms too. So this one is if, if I die, it, I won't, but it will shatter. So I have this one on hand just when it does. Uh, and then adds one charge to my flashlight, which is a hell yeah, and then increases the maximum health for Logan. And then I have a propane tank that I need to... Should I assign this? I should assign this to something. And then the shotgun ammo, which I just picked up. It's still bright enough that I don't need my flashlight yet. I don't know that there's terribly a lot to go in the woods in this way, so I'm just gonna head straight on. Excuse me? What was that? None of that. It's getting dark and ominous now. I just want to enjoy coffee. Sounds like. S Fuck! Excuse me? Is that an axe? Did someone throw something at me? I didn't see it. Oh, FBI, shit. show yourself! Where, where, where? Hello? Were they up there? Cause I didn't see it. I'd be such a bad FBI agent. Oh, oh my God, excuse you. I don't think I can hit them, maybe. They're just here to scare me. Rude as fuck. hit them but you know what Where is he? bye bitch 
<laughs> More people turning into Taken. Took a tumble. <laughs> Is this the cult? Uh, or the story? Or both? Both, ma'am. Both. Do you leave any things for me? Yes, you did. No. The beer can. Damn it. Yeah, reload. I'm out of uh, handgun ammo because I uh, did a piss poor job of shooting. They also take a lot of bullets, I gotta say. A lot more bullets. And I also, I noted this with Alan. The shadows in his world take less bullets than the Taken here with Saga. Like, the, the Taken here in this game, they seem to take a lot more bullets. Hunting Shack. Is this my save spot, maybe? Oh my god, one of these. Just like the original. Yep! Yoink! Is it my safe house? It better be my safe house. Is this a, a shooting range? Or is it just for giggles? There's maybe something with this. Oh. There's another cult stash. Oh, we love cult stashes. Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. It changed the code as asked. Well, that's not fucking helpful. Tell me what the code is. It's got to be. Oh, wait, the arrows. Ah, ah, ha, ha. The arrows. It's got to be because there's only one arrow. No. Shit. Oh, no, wait. One, two, three. That's using the brain. Okay, so five, two, and then what was it? Seven, five, two, seven. Am I smart? Am I smart? Five, two, seven. Yeah, I'm smart. Yeah. If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Why do they just expect people to be looting their stuff? That's my question. I'm taking it. It's mine. Is it the light crossbow? Because that would be amazing. I doubt it. Can I take these arrows out of the wall now? Yes, I can. Oh, that is badass. Fuck yes. That's such a cool little detail. They did not have to do that. So, uh... Absolutely. I bet this thing is a pain in the ass to load or reload, but I'm so excited for that. And I got some bullets. Any more arrows I can take? Look at the copy world. Oh, that's exciting. Any more things over here? So this is like a little hideout for them. Good to know. It is a coffee house, or a little save house, coffee house. <laughs> is this another page? It is. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. <sighs> What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving daughter. her daughter was crossing the line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. <laughs> Hunting season was a bust. Are you gonna hunt me now? Great. Thrilled. Oh, exactly like that. Oh, can I take? Oh, these are darts, not arrows. <laughs> okay, and then my shoe box. Yeah, I got a big health in here. I'm gonna keep it that way. Uh, for now. And then we got a little save. That's brilliant. All right, so I got my gun back. I got my, I got some good weapons. All right, let's, let's try to make it to Coffee World or get lost in the woods, which is probably far more likely to happen to me. But you know, 
there's so much to explore, I bet, too. I mean, this game is like overwhelmingly amount of stuff to find. Is insane. Do we hear somebody? In the distance. Thank you, I'll take that. Or is it the music? Nope, it's a person. Take a tumble. Stay down. I definitely need way more bullets. Is this coffee world? Were you enjoying the view? I'm stuck on what? His corpse? <laughs> Please no. I should use the crossbow though. I want to know what it does. In American Nightmare, it was like a one-shot kill because it was a crossbow of light. I don't think that's the case here, but it would have been cool. But I do appreciate the crossbow. I feel like they're so much more popular now than in previous times before. It is flooded like fuck. Is there anything over here? Anything in the woods? Doesn't look like it, just the bridge. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh! Oh. Where though? I think maybe up here. Oh, absolutely. What are those things, man? Are they knitted eggs? Is it this? Got a flare? Hell yeah. Is that everything in there? Looks like it. But don't More they of those also... kids' lunchboxes. I was just gonna say, the Alex Casey lunchboxes. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. Uh, it's a privacy thing. Interesting. Manuscript fragments. So yeah, we can do some more upgrading. We actually had a good amount of stuff from last time. So we got 13. We can actually do another weapon upgrade. Because I believe we only needed like 12 for some of these. Yeah, so 12. Land two headshots. More bullets. So we have 13. It is tempting though to save them for these bigger ones. Fires two bolts before needing to reload. See, like something like that would be really good. Hold the fire button to draw the... Oh, see, that one would be good, too. Bullets lodged into enemies will attract... Bolts lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them? That sounds amazing. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, this, we might should save it. We did this one. Will we kill an enemy? It restores health. A little bit of health. A dual increase. So maybe, maybe let's save it for now. But it's good to have. But hell yeah. So we're back to we're back to finding a whole bunch of shit in the woods. I feel like you could search for hours and still not find everything. The ranger cabin. Oh, if we if we undo the flooding like we did in Cauldron Lake, then we might be able to explore more areas as well. Holy crap, this game is huge. Just like holy crap. Any more stuff? Oh, this is kind of fucked up. And that music is definitely unsettling. <gasps> Guffy World! I'm here for it. Anything in the toilet? Yes, no, maybe so. Potato cups. Is this another save cabin for me? Fuck yeah, it is. Unless it's... No, it's not. I was going to say, unless it's the same one, but I don't think so. <gasps> another page! We're finding all the pages in this one. It's a good thing. We need them. Scratch on the hunt. Uh-oh. Scratch stalked through the forest, 
A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sense than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it, to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. I think really they should stop putting on deer fests because it just attracts all manner of evil at this point. Okay, but this confirms, this confirms that Scratch is the leader of the cult. It also confirms what we already knew or at least what Alan also was like speculating on that the clicker in the hands of Scratch would like plunge the world into darkness and it would fulfill Scratch's um, wants and needs. And but the clicker in the hands of Alan would bathe the world in light and would obviously fix everything back to the way it was. So we just have to make sure that uh, obviously Scratch doesn't get the clicker. Also, the subtitles were like, kind of off in that one. So I don't know if you guys saw that, too, but it's kind of funny. Um, the other thing is that if Scratch is in the hunt in the woods and he's here maybe hunting Saga or about to hunt Saga, then it would confirm for at least Alex Casey, especially because he's like the most um, in doubt about there being two of Alan essentially, um, that since Alan is with Alex Casey and if Scratch comes for us, then we can at least exonerate Alan. And then maybe he'll be able to help more because Alex Casey and Saga too. But Saga believes him more a little bit because of the pages. Um, that maybe Alan will be able to be a little bit more free to help us in this world. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Hopefully he's got a very blank poster right here. Oh, I'm in the... Oh, that was in her office. That's cool. So if I find maybe more of his stuff, does it populate more? Because this is in my personal uh, mind place. All right. Uh-oh. Did you forget to wash your hands? I hope not. <laughs> Turn on the faucet, not too hot. Apply, what does it say? Soap to your hands, don't be stingy. Rub-a-dub-dub -dub at least 20 seconds. Wipe your hands until they are nice and dry. Don't forget, you can do it. <laughs> Keep the hands clean. It's good hygiene. What the hell is this doing in here? There's no sink. Let's get our box. And then this is uh, shotgun ammo. Hell yeah. Shoe box is still good. Let's do a manual save here as well. It's sad that it only does like three slots and I have to be very judicious about them. Like, Ooh. All right, let's keep going. I don't have too much time left, but I do want to see what is going on with Watery. Hello? Or Coffee World, rather. Anyone here? Oh. Nope. Did they get out? Get a fresh pot gift shop Did open. Did the Taken get them? 10 a.m. Or were they turned into Taken? Turned into Taken. I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. So they said it was in the gift shop Elmo safe. Elmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. I'll shut up. I'll let Saga do it. She's brilliant as fuck. Well. Where's this? Park rides. No littering, no spilling coffee on yourself or others. We are not liable. Hot coffee, sorry. Don't feed the wildlife. Don't pet Mocha the moose. He bites. Always have fun. So, oh, we need a... Locked. Need something to jimmy it open with. Oh. Do we need to break it? A list of maintenance work. Uh, the lock is jammed again. A screwdriver. Huh. I forced it last time with a screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put shit back when you use it. Uh, 
Coffee World entrance sign defaced. Cleaned with detergent. Wax sign should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Um, oh. Slow roaster pod is stuck. It won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40. Seems good for now. Yako. Uh, fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsawed and removed. Keeping the wood. Yako. Several burned out bulbs. Bulbs. Several burned out bulbs in the percolator and replaced and ordered some more bulbs. Stuart. Oh, I can collect it. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Squeaking on Latte Lagoon Carb B. Tighten the bolts. Less bad now. Percolator control panel jammed. Removed with the front screwdriver. Found a penny in there. Oh, okay. So the percolator control panel. That's where we need to go to find the screwdriver. To come into the coffee shop. Do the thing. The percolator. The percolator. Fresh pot. This is, this is cool. I'm not even a coffee person. This is cool. The music is quite unsettling, I will say. Is this for me? It is for me. I feel like there's so much shit to explore here. Oh my god. Okay, so that's where we came from. And I went around the building. Is there anything over here? Oh yeah, there is, baby. Oh no, we're gonna have so many fights. This is bad. Oh, I got a health thing. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, they're giving me things, though. That's not good. That means that they're kind of come for me. Oh, is that a page? Uh, Coffee World review notes. Coffee-themed names for the rides. Mildly amusing. Nice view of watery from the top of the Ferris wheel. The mascots were trying their best. What else? Okay, coffee. Cons. Rickety rides. Creepy mood. Money-hungry owner. They killed the poor moose. <gasps> Two out of five stars. Ooh. Yeah, the killing the moose. Uh, that's a bit um, extreme. What happened to it? Why? What does that say? Something roaster? Slow roaster. That's right. I want another go. one of those cult boxes. Only striped cups? striped cups oh oh like teacups like these or like cups like solo cups <laughs> sure shit's gonna get real anything over here nice view dead moose oh we're sorry the toilet is temporarily out of order what the fuck all the toilets are out of order get your shit together Okay, there's a creepy angle of this side too. Like what? Oh, oh yes, striped cups only. So is it this? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, it sounds really bad. I don't know that I would want to go on it in real life. Oh, they're here. But you know what? Saga would love to enjoy them. Ooh. Ooh, it fell. That's not good. That's less than good. More stuff. Well, this is amazing and I am happy for it. This is also unnerving. We like yeet ourselves over this way? No? Okay. All out of order. Somebody's gonna pop out of one of these, I swear to God. What if you gotta go, man? I guess it's the woods. Got a lot of woods. So where's the percolator? That's the real question. Let's save for all the stuff that we have so far. Also, maybe you should take some of these. Since apparently, we're gonna get murdered. I'm also almost out of time. But tell me the percolator is somewhere not this way. It's gotta be in towards the park. If this is the gift shop, maybe around like this side. We came from this side. I think it has to be in these stores. Cause this is like blocked. Is 
Is there like another gate over there? Can I just, oh, I can squeeze past it. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I literally thought, I thought it was blocked, blocked. I just went around this tree. All right, I'm just a dumbass. All right. Uh, percolator. Oh my god, there's so many things. Expresso, oh, express. Same stuff. Percolator is where we need to go. Is this like a healthy gazebo of light and goodness? With more pills to pop. Yes, it is, baby. Safety and love. Ooh, is that the percolator? I think it is. Oh boy. Shit's gonna get real. Balloon pop. Ooh. Oh. Absolutely. Arrows. Didn't even register for me at all. Oh god, there's so many things to explore. Is it this? Game okay, then. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, fuck. Someone's gonna come. Where? 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 Oh, he's up there. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be an all-out brawl, but that is okay. So are these striped cups? Or, like, do we have to find, like, coffee cups? Like, tea cups, but coffee cups. Coffee mugs? Mugs? Coffee mugs. Coffee tea cups. <laughs> you know, like, cups ride? Tea cups ride? The spinny thing? Although, that's kind of what this looks like, to be honest. That was great. Oh, I am still alive. Yay! Hell yeah, baby. But are they gonna come for me now? Like, actually come for me? Alright, let's get to the... Oh yeah, they're coming for me. Oh, they're fucking everywhere! Oh shit. Oh shit, they're everywhere. Can I try this? Woo! That's a no, baby. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Sure. What's happening? Y'all scared my frame right away too. I'm running. I'm running. Okay. Less chaos. Come here. I'm ready now. Can they not come through here? <laughs> this is hilarious. What's up, bitch? Come here. I made a mistake. Whoa! Master! Oh, 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 oh. Where are you? Damn, where the hell are they? You do that! <laughs> Holy crap! My game was like, what the heck? Fuck that! I'm gonna go save. Well, I still have my wits about me. 
Alright, got that quick save going. My game's not gonna freak out. We're not, we calmed down from the scares. So we're gonna go unlock this, uh, this coffee shop. Break it. Yoink. Yeah, baby. Let's get out of here. Boom. Boom. Now where is that safe? Can I have one of the finger things? <laughs> Be like running around like, woo! <laughs> I want to do that. Are these our employees? The team? We gotta love the team. We always gotta appreciate the team, you know? Oh, there's the safe. Oh, is that a page? No, but it's a thing we can read. Hey, Elamo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir poop goes. I don't know if I said that right. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? All right, it was yours. Ooh, plastic knives. Shouldn't it be like a spoon for coffee? I don't know. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine, even got a glowing vet report, and then bam. They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks. In advance. Ilmo. Okay, so the moose had a heart attack. I wonder if it was, like, scared by, like, one of the Taken. Like, that would probably... I mean, it could have also just, like, not done well. You know what I mean? I see a page over here. Shit gonna get real, though. They're gonna be like, and then Saga was bombarded by Taken in the coffee shop. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Also, I think it's kind of funny. Coffee shop. Uh, not this. Oh, there it is. Coffee world's attacked. Oh, no. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. Uh -oh. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Oh, shit. And that's maybe how she got taken, like literally and figuratively. Also, I just had a thought with this well. So the well, they said something about people were murdered in the well or the bodies were found in the well, which is, that's a whole issue. But I wonder if like the well and maybe the surrounding waters here at Watery Woods is connected maybe a little bit to the waters of Cauldron Lake. Then again, it is a lake, so it's probably like contained, but I almost had a thought of like maybe all the coffee and stuff that they were brewing here was like being brewed with the water from Cauldron Lake. Um, but I think that's not the case. I think that's just my brain going, oh, connections for water and, and things and coffee. I think that's probably not a thing. Okay, so not as horrible. They're not going to come and get me yet. Oh, but I can get this. Hell yeah, baby. We want things. Let's get this key. Locked. Why did you change the damn okay. password to the safe again? What would Ilmo use for a code? I thought it was lookout fixer supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid, Yako? If your brother says this, uh, uh oh. Uh, and then it says, calm down. This one's easy. Tracker lookout cleaner. See? No rocker. No rocket science. Tracker lookout cleaner? Tracker. Uh oh. Uh, board. Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot. Watery area. Bam. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many. Oh, there probably is. Who left these? If the author wanted privacy, that ship has sailed. Ah ha ha. 
sounds like fan fiction and stuff, it sounds kitty to me. Like I think I mentioned, I think it's Saga's like ghost daughter leaving those from the world that she thinks is fiction, right? That her daughter drowned in Cauldron Lake. I think it's her leaving those things because it sounds like a childish voice to me. Like fan fiction, the crayons, the colors, that kind of thing, you know? The stash. Is that Saga clicking? The better was crossbow inside, better in my hands than theirs. Yeah, absolutely. The story. All right, the clicker is up here. So that was the thing with Mr. Scratch. Mr. Scratch just needs the clicker to make his ending into reality. Can't let that happen. And on the flip side, to, to not let that happen, we have to give the clicker in the hands of Alan. I guess we can't use that one. And then Trail of the Cult. So I'm hoping this will kind of give us a little bit more coffee world. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on earth. Woo! And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Yes, well... We established this, so some of this is a little old. Coffee World is certainly Im interesting and empty. He said that someone would be here to help, but there is no one. So this is a locked and a safe. Bam, safe combo. Um, I don't think a screwdriver will work on this one, she says, for the safe. The hint about the safe combo. Bam. The door is locked. This we already established, though. I just didn't do it. Ammo. Yep. Screwdriver. It's interesting they didn't like auto populate this one. But I guess it's because it's still ongoing. Like the other Using one. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. I think the other one that it did auto complete is like the one that I like had done it entirely. This. No. <sighs> Aha. The Coscalis think I lived in the trailer park with Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. <laughs> Why aren't mine affected? Maybe it is, Saga. Maybe it is. Okay, so three locations, three jobs the tracker, the lookout, and the cleaner. So let's look at the map here. I was hoping to kind of be able to do it here already. Mm, this doesn't really help me, though. Oh, we have some more of them. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? Please tell People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. <laughs> Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Ooh. Good. I'm glad. I was hoping not to go trekking around the park. Okay. He said tracker, tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. I'm trying to like think of like tracker. I was thinking like coffee world staff. Like tracking. Hope like they're not all monsters now. Yeah, let's hope. Lost and found, maintenance, ride operator, janitor, gift shop, security, caregiver, walk around, concession stand. Percolator is under, uh, unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we'll fix it as soon as possible. Uh, news of the week: Remember to bring your liability forms Tuesday to your bring dog to Coffee World Day. And then we'll the photos it. have stickers on them. Oh. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. Security. Maintenance, maybe? Lost and found. Red operator. How many years they've worked. Okay, so maybe it's this tracker board. And their jobs.
I bet Elmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudoku's. Ooh, that's complete. Safe combo based off the clues in the gift shop. The answer is somewhere here. No two, no two employees share the same responsibility. The tracker, the lookout, the cleaner, the stickers and the photos. Hmm. The tracker. So maybe the tracker would be either lost and found or security. So I would say either four or one. And then the lookout. Maybe the lookout is security and lost and found would be the tracker. Something like that. And then uh, the cleaner would be maintenance. So Stuart would be one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, six. So are the park, park walk around though either two. So two, one of those. So tracker, lookout, cleaner. Okay, so we know, I would say lost and found is one. That could be tracker or security could be tracker. So like four, but lookout also could be security. So that could also be four um, or the park walk around could also be two. Maybe it would be the tracker as well. So I feel like the answer is either one or two. We'll say lookout is four and then the four and then six is cleaner, which is maintenance. So let's try, let's try the first ones that I figured out. Like lost and found as the, um, the lookout and then security. So four and then six. Oh, that was right. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I really was like confused on the, the keys to my trailer. Ooh. Now to find the clicker and the cult. Oh, that was serendipitous. That's some detective work. I was really worried about the... Um, what does it say? Which one? The lookout. I was like, lookout could be security, but the tracker one, I was like, it's either the person like walks around and like maybe keeps tracks of activities or the lost and found. Because like they keep track of like lost items maybe, but security could also be. Oh, I'm so happy that that yeah yeah baby. All right, so we got the keys. Is there anything that we can do here? No. Uh, and then was there any profiling? It does highlight yellow when you do need to do some things. So we just collected more radio things and more television things. Um, let's go save. And this is probably sadly all of the time that I have for this episode. But now that we have the keys, we've got a lot of pages, which is great. Um, we can progress. I feel like I'm missing so much in this world though. So I feel like I'm, when I come back, I might do like a little run around just to like find stuff. Um, because I feel like there's a lot of like lunch boxes and like extra tidbits and stuff that I'm missing. Um, but yeah, I'm a little crunch for time for this episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, not nearly as exciting as the big concert thing, but hey, Coffee World is a good time. I hope we could ride one of the rides. I wonder if that's the thing if you explore, like, vast enough. It looks like it's a big, like, area, so I'm excited to get to more of it. Um, I think that the reality that Saga is going to have to face is that, like, the reality she knows is not necessarily true. And I think the thing that she thinks is fiction, I think I really am starting to think that that's, like, the actual reality. And, I mean, her question, like, why isn't it affecting her makes so much sense. Right? Because like, why isn't it affecting her? And I would think that, that maybe it is and she's just denying it in order to like get through the case. But part of the breakthrough for the case is going to be her breaking through that truth in her mind. Um, cool. Well, I'd, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm like absolutely blown away. Anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. This is Alan Wake 2. We are in Coffee World with Saga. Um, Local Girl, I think, is going to be a little bit a long chapter, like I said. So it, I'm hoping to finish it up least her chapter local girl in the next episode but um we'll see uh obviously as we go um yeah please uh don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode drink some coffee go to the oh dear diner rock out to the old gods of asgard we've got to support the band guys i'm literally that song's on loop i'm so excited anyways i'll see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>